And what are the chances of actually experiencing a completely different life and lifestyle and, having, and being fortunate enough to be able to survive it, but in a, a wheelchair? Hi, my name is James. I live a crazy, adventurous life, and I'm looking forward to sharing it with some of my upright friends. Each week, I'll meet a celebrity and invite them to take my wheelchair challenge. My peers and I would like to show them what the world looks like from our height. This height. Starting with a few day-to-day -day tasks, we'll get them nice and comfortable, and then we'll have to take this to the next level. I'll be guiding them and definitely laughing at them and introducing them to a whole new lifestyle. So follow us through the good, the bad, and the absolutely hilarious challenges of having wheels stuck to your butt. Literally. Okay, enough talk. I can't feel my feet and it's freezing out here, so let's get rolling. No, really, I actually can't feel my feet. Well, we're off to meet BMAC from Sun FM 99.9, .9, our local radio station. I understand that he's uh, had some experience in a wheelchair and looking forward to stepping this up a notch. <laughs> Today, I think my experience is going to definitely bring back memories of when I was in a chair. About 10, maybe 12 years ago, I was in Calgary and I had a random thing called Guillain-Barre syndrome. And essentially, it's a nerve disorder that took away all my mobility from the neck down. I had to learn how to walk again and I had to learn how to feed myself and dress myself and to get around. And it was one heck of an eye opener and one incredible experience that changed my life forever. So today James is going to fit me in a wheelchair. We're going outdoors. I believe there may be beer involved, which I'm very excited about. Let's get ready to rock. I can't believe it. We got a nice fresh dump of snow last night. Really looking forward to showing our buddy around, laughing at him and seeing how he does getting through the snow. Brian, James. Nice to meet you, James. Nice to meet you too. We're gonna get me all geared up here. Fit you up in a chair and let's go have some fun. Okay. Let's do it. All right, I'm ready. Okay, my trusty steed. Ooh. Feels like a double wide. It looks pretty big. Feels like I'm gonna go give birth in about five minutes here. <laughs> Maybe we should try something a little smaller. I think so. <laughs> Just gonna get out. Just one sec here. <laughs> this particular chair is titanium, obviously nice rims, and a carbon fiber backrest. BMAC, you wanna try this out? I know, the first thing is there's no training wheels, so if I'm gonna wheelie, I could be going over, hey? She's a fancy Cadillac, okay. almost <laughs> like a Ferrari. Whoa, unreal. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, BMAC, I think we're ready to go. Okay, Remember, well. you were paralyzed again. Ugh. And if you fall out of this chair, you can't move your legs. Okay, you don't think I'm gonna flip again though, do you? Yeah. He does. All right. Let's do it. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, seriously, let's go this time. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'll drive. All right, I'll sit shotgun. <laughs> So my first instinct when I see someone in a chair, even after my experiences with it, is I definitely feel sorry for them. I feel bad for them. I, f I wish that they didn't have to go through that. Uh, so we gotta cross this, eh? Yeah, this is wheelchair skills at its finest. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We gotta get them gloves. This is intense. KB Mac, you gotta jump off of this curb here because. Oh my God. You you thought you had to do the easy route. This is so hard. We really threw you into this. <laughs> 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 
or in curl. <laughs> oh no! There you go. There you go. Oh. Ah. <laughs> hey. Almost had it. Hey, it's not gonna happen overnight. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this before, so it's all coming back to me. Yeah, but you're moving your legs heavily. Yeah. Well, another good thing about being in a chair is prime parking. <laughs> I guess that is a perk, eh? I think this is the place. Go meet some friends. Let's try it out. For those people who are watching, wondering how difficult it is, can you go out and get all the snow off of your driveway please and your <laughs> sidewalks because this, look at this this has actually kind of almost been done a bit and it's still taking us forever hard. you know you're doing great though frick <sighs> okay you i go first you got this okay you got this is this nice cheating work. or is that okay nice, man is that acceptable that's awesome <laughs> i'm pretty sure this is the place yeah. Doesn't look so good. Lots of stairs. Yeah. Oh, hey guys. It feels a little bit sketchy. How you guys doing? That's all right. Oh, wait guys, wait, wait. This isn't the place. No. You feel like everyone's looking at you and you feel like they're feeling sorry for you. You kind of, that's the vibe I felt off of it is they look and they, they feel sorry for you. And it's not like that's a bad thing, but it's kind of an assumption when people don't know the full story. Hey. This is the spot. No stairs this time. Woo. And like, I almost had it, and then just. You know where you're gonna party? But we all pull through, right? You keep going. So it's kind of nice that this that. group is here. It's like le legitimately a community. Oh. Big time. Yeah, and and, and a, having nice. that of people who understand, yeah. you know, I mean, like uh, James was saying, every spinal cord injury is different, yeah. but like, you know, it's all in the same realm of we're all going through this lack of mobility together. Yeah. But something powerful out of that to know that, like, yeah, we're all together. Yeah. So let's just get through it together. Yeah. Well, B-Mac, you said you like hockey. Yeah, I do. Let's go shoot some pucks. I always watch it, but boy, it's a new thing being out here. I don't know where to put my legs. Woo! You ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> Let's get a puck. <laughs> amazing it's been such a cool eye-opener and I mean even as you know I was in a wheelchair previous to this it's really cool to see it when you know this is a permanent thing and looking at their views on life and talking to them and hearing how they were in dark periods too and they've come out of it and they live fun awesome lives and nothing really stops them they can pretty much do anything that we all do they just have to do it a little bit differently and it's just really encouraging to know that you know like this is not the worst thing in the world and life can always be worse but it's really tough, and my hands are off. My hat is off to them, to anyone who has to go through this, because it's one hell of a ride. Thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, keep on rolling. I feel like I'm gonna go give birth. Maybe you should try something a little smaller. <laughs> I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> James, you're far behind. <laughs> and scene.